Christopher Bloom was four months old when he died suddenly. His father Steve believes a contaminated vaccine is to blame for his son's death. He died um, on a Monday, eight hours after vaccination. He did the vaccination at 2.30 p.m. By 9.30 p.m. he was dead. And the first results in the first few days came out that he had blood poisoning. That's what we were told, that he had septicemia. But two weeks later, the authorities said the infection got into the baby's blood accidentally in the laboratory. They classified Christopher as a victim of cod death, or sudden infant death syndrome. But Steve refuses to accept this. He believes his son's case is a cover-up because files relating to the case have vanished. Two sets of a backup blood samples have also gone missing. We know that he couldn't have died for no reason and then still have blood poisoning and some indications of liver, liver failure and kidney failure, you know. Most experts refuse to comment on the case. The UK's leading baby charity has only agreed to give us a general assessment of the problem. The investigations and the research do suggest that um, mistakes or maltreatment, by the way, by, by uh, the professionals or by the parents, uh, intentional or unintentional, it probably contributes to a small proportion of the deaths. Currently, maybe, I don't know, 5 to 10 percent, nobody knows exactly. So Steve decided not to bury his son until he gets to the bottom of the case. This is the mortuary where Christopher's body has been stored at a temperature of minus 8 Celsius since June 1987. And while his parents never got to see him again, they know that his tiny frame is kept here in an adult-sized drawer that is rarely opened by anyone. Marked, Baby Bloom deceased. Steve has even been denied access to Christopher's vital organs for further investigation. He was told bluntly that they were not available. And now, his local council is insisting on a funeral. After 21 years, we believe that Christopher now needs to be laid to rest. We have followed the correct procedure, obtaining the consent of the Register General to register the death of baby Bloom. Council officials have told Mr. Bloom to give his consent to the burial, something which he strongly objects to. Dr. Sabir is a pediatric pathologist with more than 10 years experience. There is certainly a possibility that in the future we may find causes for cases that at present we cannot give a definite cause. But I don't think that that means that uh, cases should be delayed or, or bodies should not be uh, buried. This is the Lavender Hill Cemetery, where Steve Bloom hopes the body of his son will be finally laid to rest. A grave and a ceremony were booked and paid for by Steve 21 years ago. The question is whether the authorities will let him bury his son on his terms. Gary Pushkova, RT, London.